Hello everyone, my name is Tessa Kohler. If you don't yet know me, I have 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome. I am a writer, a seamstress, and a working artist originally from the Chicagoland area. I think it's been about a year, maybe a year and a half or so since I've given you guys an update on all that's been going on. And even though I spent the majority of 2020 either at home or quarantining, a lot has happened and keeps on happening. A little bit of history first before I dive into all of the good stuff that's gone on in 2020. For more than 10 years, I was actively pursuing a career as a fashion designer, designing clothing for women, special occasion wear mostly. I did my own photography, marketing, blogging. I did photo shoots all over the city of Milwaukee with a ton of models, people who were so kind to volunteer for me and help me build my fashion label. Then, in April of 2019, I was recovering from my third major surgery, which I had at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. I needed to have a aneurysm near my spleen repaired. It was a very lengthy procedure. I'm actually not even calling it a surgery. It's more of a procedure. It took a long time for me to recover from. Also around that time I had become single and I relocated from the Milwaukee area back to my homeland, the Burbs of Chicago. In the months of January, February, and March, I was working for David's Bridal as their in-house seamstress and stylist. I had initially applied for their alteration specialist position but wound up doing more styling. The styling entailed selling very expensive bridal gowns from the Vera Wang brand to Olay Cassini to David's Bridal's collection. I definitely had a knack for accessorizing ready-to-wear and special occasion ensembles. But as the coronavirus became more widespread globally, I found that working in the public wasn't the best for me and I stopped working at David's Bridal and dealt with a number of health issues in the meantime which delayed me in getting my alterations business going. All of this healthy quarantining that I have done gave me the time and energy to focus on building my art brand. My days were spent drawing portraits mostly of musicians. I started off drawing a portrait of my favorite musical group, Fantagram and some more favorites, Nelly Furtado, Leslie Hunt, lead singer of District 97. It was my way of showing my support and appreciation for artists and musicians who helped me get through all this quarantining. This portrait drawing then led to a drawing business, which I had always wanted to do from the time I was young. Even though I had earned my Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design in 2008, the kind of portraiture I was doing while in quarantine was unlike anything I have ever done in the past. People all over the internet began commissioning me to draw portraits for them for special occasions such as Mother's Day, birthdays, Father's Day, anniversaries, I'm still getting commissions for portraits. This also led to starting my own YouTube channel, an art channel to be specific, which I call Tessa Kohler Art. It's where I teach people how to draw portraits, how to paint, how to do abstraction, acrylic pores, and master a variety of mediums. I never thought I would go into teaching, but it's become something that I really very much enjoy doing. I connected with all kinds of people online as I continued doing my YouTube channel and my drawing and my artwork. During the fall leading into Thanksgiving, I stayed home a lot to prepare for the holidays and making sure that I myself did not catch the coronavirus. On Instagram, my favorite music artist of all time, the lead singer of Fantagram, sent me a message her first night back on the social platform after seven months of being away. There is a long story behind why I sometimes talk to the lead singer of Fantagram and that I won't get into in this video. It was like out of a dream.
By September, I was really enjoying being my own boss and running my bridal alterations business, but I did more than just bridal alterations. I was taking on all kinds of projects. One project, I got to sew patches onto a blouse or an army uniform. I predominantly do bridesmaids dresses, wedding dresses, and special occasion wear. As for my writing, I am constantly raising awareness of 22Q. I write for several journals, magazines, online publications. I feel a calling to keep raising awareness of 22Q on a global scale. I also do so on my blog at tessacolor.com blog. In closing, I want to say how grateful I am for the International 22Q Foundation. I'm also very grateful for the worldwide 22Q community. All of you are rock stars. You have inspired me to keep living my best life. It is a blessing to be a part of such an incredible community. Take care.